With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Our question is, equimolar concentration of H2 and I2 are heated to equilibrium in a 2 liter flask. At equilibrium, the forward and backward rate constant constant to be equal what percent is of initial concentration of h2 has reached at equilibrium okay let us see here so first we will consider how the equilibrium constant is defined in terms of concentration of reactants and product then we will determine the concentration the reaction defined in this question is h2 equimolar concentration of h2 and i2 react and it will form 2 hn so the reactants here are H2 and I2 and the product is HI. Okay, we can say that one mole each of the reactant give us two mole of the product. Give us two mole of the product. According to this reaction, the formula for the equilibrium constant will be defined as Kc equal to concentration of HI whole square divided by concentration of H2 and concentration of I2 here. Where Kc is the equilibrium constant. Now we will de determine the con concentration of reactant and product. It is given that both reactant are present in equimolar concentration. It is given. So we will assume that one mole of each reactant is present. We know that the reaction is reversible here. So at equilibrium only a fraction of total concentration of reactant will have been converted into product. We will assume that this concentration of reactant that has been converted into products is X here. So initially the concentration of reactant present will be 1 mole each and at equilibrium the concentration of reactant present will be 1 minus X. We can represent this data in tabular form. Let us H2 here, here I2, here HI. This is the reaction now initially when we start it is 1 it is 1 and it is 2 and at equilibrium it is 1 minus x this is also 1 minus x and this is 2x because we decrease when it will react its concentration or its number of mole is decrease and its number of moles is increase here now the amount of reactant that has reacted will be converted into product now before we put this value into the equation given above we need to find the value of k here so that finding the value of x become possible here so it has given that rate of constant, let us see, rate of constant of the forward and backward reaction are same. We know that equilibrium constant is the ratio of the forward reaction to the backward reaction. So, this can be expressed as Kc, Kc equal to Kf upon Kb, where Kf is the rate of forward reaction and Kb is the rate of backward, re backward reaction. So, from this we can say that Kc equal to here 1. Now putting all this value in the given formula which we write it above here, we get 1 equal to, we will put this value in this equation, okay. Let us give it number 1. Now substitute all the value in this equation number 1. So 1 equal to 2x whole square divided by 1 minus x, 1 minus x. So we can solve here value of x. So 2x 1 minus x whole square equal to 1 here. Now taking square on both sides it is equal to 2x upon 1 minus x equal to 1. Now 2x equal to 1 minus x. So here 2x plus x equal to 1 x equal to 1 by 3 here. Okay. So we can see that the value of x is 1 by 3. This means that one third of the initial concentration of reactant will be converted into product. If we convert this value into percentage, which is 1 by 3 multiply 100%, it is equal to approximate equal to 33%. X equal to 33%. So from here we can say that option 1 is the correct answer of this question. 33% of initial concentration of H2 has reached that equilibrium. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. 
ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आप टूडे